Hey everyone, welcome back to Pajama Crafts where I do crafts in my pajamas. Today I am doing this fun DIY. I saw something similar to this at Hobby Lobby and I took a picture so I thought it was so cute and I wanted to try um, something similar. It's not really a dupe because it's not exactly the same um, or I don't know if you would call this a dupe but um, I just wanted to make something similar and I was able to use all Dollar Tree products except for the chicken wire. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> um, but I just got these. I still have some of these boxes from Dollar Tree. And hopefully you might have some as well if you want to make this DIY or maybe your Dollar Tree still has them. I think last time I was at my Dollar Tree, they still had a few so I grabbed them right away. As you can see here, at first I tried to peel the paper off the back, but it wasn't really working. I've seen people do it before um, with some other things from Dollar Tree, but I just decided to use the back. Or, and so I just went ahead and took off those stickers. I know if you hold heat up to them, um, it helps them peel off easier, but I wasn't having too hard of a time with it. Um, and, I, <laughs> and I was just in a hurry, so... Um, and a lot of times I'm doing this when Brie is sleeping, so I don't want the noise of the hair dryer and I don't want to get out a lighter. Um, but I was able to just pull these off uh, pretty easily. I've noticed that when I pull the stickers off, sometimes it leaves like um, a weird texture on whatever I'm working on. And I don't like that, so I just take a little sandpaper and try to smooth it all out, or at least... Sometimes it roughs it up more, but at least then the whole thing is the same. So then I just went ahead and um, used some Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. And then I did the same thing with two more boxes. These are just super easy to pop out. I was just careful to do it kind of slowly just to make sure I didn't um, like rip the back or anything like that. And sorry if I'm talking a little bit slower, saying um a bunch of times, but I um, just woke up and wanted to get my voiceover done before the baby woke up, if possible. So <laughs> I'm still waking up myself. So after I painted all three of the back pieces, I just took some brown paint. It's a nutmeg nutmeg brown and apple barrel paint and I'm just dry brushing some of that onto um, my squares just to make them look a little bit more distressed and older you know how I do <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying Now to write the words, I'm just taking my stencil from Walmart. They usually come in like a three pack or something, I think. And this one is just my favorite for writing things like farmhouse scenes or kind of country type writing. I think it looks better than some of the other ones. Um, and so I'm just taking a black paint pen and writing farm fresh eggs. Now I don't love how the letters are disconnected in some spots. So I always go through and like connect them afterwards because I just like the look better. And then I just filled them in with my paint pen since they're just small letter. I did add some pictures of Brie at the end of this video like usual you guys. She is about to turn one next month. Um, is it still June? Yeah. So in July she's turning one. I can hardly believe it. Um, but she is like just trying to figure out how to crawl and stuff and she's just a tiny bit behind with that kind of stuff because she was actually born premature um like seven weeks premature and i was thinking about doing a video of kind of the story of her birth and like our time in the NICU and just some pictures of her when she was super duper tiny um just kind of for her um birthday or like you know around that time like the first year of her life kind of a little story but like story time about that for you guys so if you're interested in seeing something like that um go ahead and comment down below and let me know and I'll try to get a video up for you guys 
So of course, if you know me, you know I am not leaving these letters just freshly painted black the way they are. So I'm going back in with some of that Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster, the same one I used in the beginning. I'm just, I'm distressing those little, or distressing those letters a little bit, and um, I'm just dry brushing that paint on there. Now here we have our black frames laid out um, side by side. They're upside down and I am just taking my stapler from Walmart. These things are amazing. They're a lifesaver all the time. Zach got me this and it's literally like the best thing ever. Um, I still use glue because the insides or the front part was kind of coming open a little bit but this just holds it together while I do my DIY and then I can add glue at the end um, if I want to use like wood glue or something then I can still be working with my project without having to wait for the glue to dry so I just love them um, but as you can see it's kind of opening up in the front and I just add hot glue at the end to that I wasn't sure if I wanted to do hot glue or wood glue but that's what I did and I apologize if you can't see very well right here um, but this is what I have to work with at the moment so um, I'm just using some chicken wire that I cut out um, like to the size of this little frame and this is just some chicken wire that I had left over from a project um, and I got this at Home Depot this is real chicken wire I would suggest if you can get some to do the decorative chicken wire like from Walmart my Walmart doesn't have it and I might have to go to a different Walmart to find it but I wasn't able to before this video so I'm just using what I had but this is like I wouldn't suggest using it for a project like this this is super super duper like difficult to work with compared to the decorative wire it's just like really um, it's a lot harder to bend it's thicker and also watch out because chicken wire is Pokey, and I always scratch or cut myself every single time without fail <laughs> so be more careful than I am um, but I did just go ahead and staple that down too next I'm just putting down the pieces with the words on them and then what I did was just fold in the wire to hold those pieces on you could de <laughs> this was kind of just the quicker way for me my wire cutters are kind of dull so it would take a while for me to cut off all the wires around the edge but this is not ideal um because this is kind of pokey i did go around and add hot glue all over it just to cut down on the pokiness of it but i'm just folding these in to hold those on you could definitely cut off the edges um and then glue it down or staple it down um something like that so that you don't have that um, you know those pokey edges and I'll probably do that later when I have some uh, better wire cutters but that would have just taken too much time and I was just you know trying to get this done quickly for this video so um, but just so I could show you guys what it would look like but I, if I were you I would cut it off so at this point I think it's looking cute already as you can see, I did um, the first one, the farm is a little off to the right, and that's because I'm gonna be putting an egg in there, and I actually did not even do that on purpose, but then I was happy that it happened. <laughs> but then I just have this raffia from um, the Dollar Tree, and they have different colors and stuff, and you can use whatever you want, but I like this darker one that I had from the fall, I think. And then I just used some hot glue, and I just, Honestly, you guys, I cut a bunch of this out because I kept rearranging it a thousand times till it looked exactly the way I wanted it to. Um, but I just used some hot glue to poke that down in there. And then same with the egg, I used the hot glue. And that egg was back from Easter. Um, so if you have any eggs still from Easter, like that you got at Dollar Tree or something, you can definitely repurpose those, you know, to make it onto a farm sign and it doesn't always have to be for Easter this was just a white one that came in the pack but if you just have colored ones you can definitely paint it white and then um, use a toothbrush with some black paint to flick the specks onto it um, but I already had this one on hand so I just used that and I think it's so so cute you guys let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Would you make this? Um, 
I just think it turned out so cute. I, I sent Zach a picture while he was working and he was like, babe, yours looks way better than the Hobby Lobby one. I think he said that just to be nice maybe, but I really do like how this one turned out. Then I would usually use wood glue on these, but just for time's sake for the video, um, I decided to use some hot glue and it actually worked out fine. I don't usually like to use hot glue on wood because it will like um, make a space between, but this didn't. I just made sure um, right after I put the glue in while it was still really hot um, to just squish it together as hard as I could. Um, and it actually turned out fine. There's no spaces between or anything like that. So. Um, you can use hot glue if you want to. I mean, it's probably just going to be sitting on a shelf or something. It's not going to be like, you know, getting roughed up or anything like that, hopefully. Unless you have kids like mine and then it'll probably get knocked off a shelf and kicked, <laughs> kicked as they walk by. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just love how this turned out. I think it's adorable. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. I'll see you next time. Bye.